I'm going to talk about two different things. One with two key, key stakeholders and something you need to be aware of. When you work with a customer and you start to develop your scope, what you would call the scope of the, or the effort for that, you may, you may find that the two key stakeholders both have a different approach and impact the decision process. And what you're going to need to do is bring them two together to have a common, similar idea. It may be a morphed idea of the combination of the two, but they both have to have a similar idea. Here's, here's one of the things that, here's a, here's a simple, simple approach to it, thinking about it, of two key stakeholders is. You're an HVAC mechanic and you're going to implement both the heating and AC component of a, of a person's home. You have who? Who are the stakeholders? The husband and the wife. They're the two ones that are making that financial decision. In making that financial decision, they need to agree, come to agreement on what type of unit are you going to put in there? How many, how many BTUs it's going to provide? You know, what's the SEER rating going to be? Because all those affect the financial cost of this and affect the size in the home, how it's going to impact the home, how it's going to heat, how it's going to cool. And this is one of the things that you need to think about is whether you're going to be in home improvement, landscaping, consulting, truck driving, no matter what it is, or moving freight, no matter what it is, you're going to find there are many different stakeholders that are, are impacted by what you do and you need to ensure that they come to a consensus before the transaction is made and the work is, the work is delivered. Now let's talk about for a, se a second on the employee side. Often when you're innovating and you're developing things in your employee or delivering to the customer, your employees may have different ideas or different approaches to, to, to providing that, that, uh, that delivery. And that's good. You want, you want your employees to think and to think as from the perspective of not only the customer, but as the company, and to provide the best quality and, and effectiveness as they can. But what you need to ensure is that sometimes these, these the decisions or the, the, what each other is thinking is, they may not be thinking quite alike. You as the leader of the company need to bring the two together, come to a common way in which you want to deliver this, and, and, and formed around your company's mission and your company's goals and your company's way it's going to deliver its business and ensure that those two come together.